Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show phase angle. I've taken all the connections out bar one, which I think, yeah, it's the, uh, so it's this first one here, right, that's connected. And what it is is that now you can see it's pushing away. So that's 180 degrees phase. And if I take it the other side, oops, then you may be able to see, yeah, you can see it's, it's oscillating, which means it's pushing away. Okay, so what happens is that, what it is is that the phase angle actually is 180 degrees out, so it's pulling in the opposite direction. So that means when I do that, it's pulling away, and when I do that, it's pulling away that way, you see. So it's trying to, it's an unstable one. Now, I can go from there, okay, to there, and that's a zero phase. And you'll see the difference now is that it's attempting to pull in. If I bring it close, you'll see, look, see, it'll, it'll attempt to center it. Uh, get it? There you go, see? So it, it's, it's centering it rather than uh, pushing it out of phase, okay? So we're getting a centering. So that's zero phase, right? So obviously everything between there is one direction or another. So if that's zero phase, right, then that is 60 degrees phase in one direction. And we can obviously spin it and we can see that it's 60 degrees phase in that direction, okay? Right? Now, 60 degrees is not the optimum phase angle. The optimum phase angle is 90 degrees, right? So that's actually going at a certain speed. So if I now transplant that out and go to minus 60, I can't see it through the camera, all right? You'll see it's obviously spinning in the opposite direction now. See, if I go from there to there, see how it turns around? And then if I go from there to there, it's now spun the other way around. See, one direction, that's with it at the first hole, and that's with it at the third hole, right? Oops, so it's stopped in the middle. Right, okay, now the other thing of course is the 108, 120 degree phase, thus demonstrating that it is 90 that's optimum, because here we've got 60 degrees phase. We're now going to transplant it into the 120 degrees. There's 120. And what you'll hear is it's pretty much at the same speed. So we've got pretty much the same torque angle. So what we really need is 90 degrees phase angle, you see, in order to make it work. And then just to demonstrate, we can go to 180. And then you'll see it basically, it's going to try and slow it down. And it'll probably. Well, it slows it down the same way as it does both. There you go, you can see it's oscillating. Because every time it, it homes in on that centre, there's just a little bit of sort of magnetic magnetic um, centering, as if it were, on the phase of the motor. And it's, um, and it's obviously oscillating, you see. Because it, every time it gets towards the centre, the motor turns away from it. And it'll work the same the other way. I don't know if we can, if we can make it work. There we go. No, it just... See, if I centre it exactly, and then I release it when it's slightly off-centre, it pushes away, see? And the same the other way, slender it off slightly, you see? So that's obviously 180 degrees phase, and it's not going to do anything apart from, I don't know, well, it's not going to do anything. And then I can put 60 degrees phase angle, right, on that direction, you see? And again, that's 60 degrees phase, and if I flip it to 120, Roughly the same speed, slightly, you can hear it drop slightly, but it's roughly the same speed. The optimal phase angle is 90 degrees, and we've only got 60 and 120, right? So this is where, having a CPU, you could put in the extra, extra phase, right? Or what you could certainly do is do a 12-step sequence, which has a phase step every 30 degrees, you see, which means that we can have 90. No problem at all. So that works, obviously, and we've got the angle. Hey. Yeah, a magnet clacking, so this one of these magnets has come out a little bit. And the problem is, I've got, oh, it's that one there. The problem is, is that these magnets, if they come out, they're going to smash against the uh, the Hall effect devices, and we don't want that because <laughs> that could be quite uh, destructive. I was thinking about maybe gluing them on. Right, and we just we're only doing this at low power anyway, so. Turn it on to the, you know, I'm, I'm 
put the resistors in and then it, there's pretty much no torque <laughs> so it's not going to work is it I'll put it on the 12 and maybe it'll turn yeah it turns there we go that's better you see so we get because we've only got one phase working so that's that's about the phase angle and it gives us the correct phase angle now so if I now start putting these in you'll see it'll start speeding up because obviously I'm adding the phases in that's that's 60 percent right one of those is catching it so you see what's happened is that one of the magnets has, has come out far enough so it's, an, it's now hitting them which one it is anyway whatever let's finish it off then so if we put the other two phases the other two uh, sensors back in line there we go I'll have to redo the magnets and I think I might glue them on just to make it work because that's the last bastion of, of um, insecurity now <laughs> yeah so obviously you can see the phase angle thing going on and uh, how it affects the torque because it's just torque, it's just torque against the atmosphere basically it's just friction and and a bit of um, rolling resistance as if it were so there's very little torque to overcome so it's a good way of experimenting but as you can see that's, that's the crack so 90 degree phase angle is optimum if you always keep it at 90 degree phase angle then you're getting the most efficiency however uh, a 90 degree phase angle um, you may need to increase the phase angle in order to make it run faster by using uh, a higher phase but I think that that's actually a bit of a myth that one to be frank um, simply because I'm using it now with very accurate precision sensing uh, against the inductors and um, now it's um, it's showing correctly that, that the best mechanical advantage has got to be 90 degrees phase angle gives you the most torque but the speed of the RPM of the motor is is proportional to the uh, is proportional to the voltage because uh, it has to overcome back EMF and as the speed of the, as the actual RPMs of the motor increases so does the back EMF so you need a higher voltage to overcome that you see so you may need, it may be worthwhile messing around with the phase angle although I don't know you know so you can put the phase ahead of it and then that'll give it more um, more time to build up back EMF you know it, it, it puts it better effectively it puts it on a lower back EMF level which means that you can then have the motor turning faster who knows? I did know that experimentally, when when this was done by a different company, they found that altering the phase angle gave them extra RPMs. It kind of bought them RPMs at the loss of efficiency, which would be fine if you want the power. You know, if you want to go faster. But then you can also stick a gearbox in. Do you know what I mean? So it's uh, it's a bit of a a misnomer. Anyway, so that's the phase bit.